All right, we're going to go take a look at a uh, Woo theme called Scrollider. Um, it's a real kind of cool new theme that they've come up with, but there's some quirks uh, we want to work through here. And uh, a lot of the quirks have to deal with um, uh, the scrolling uh, slider at the top of the uh, site. So um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to look at the slides. Yep, that's okay. And uh, really the trick here is making sure that the image that we're adding as a featured image is going to be sufficiently large. Um, it does require a rather large image here. So um, I've gone ahead and put together this 1400 by 416 image here. We're going to set it as our featured image. And we're going to go ahead and update. Now let's refresh. There. And it's it's pretty big as you can see. There's a little gray space down here, and what's causing that gray space is actually uh, this toolbar here. So if we were to go, kind of go and look um, at an unauthenticated experience, I'm gonna load the, the site up. As you can see, the fit's actually pretty decent here. Um, so coming along. The next thing I want to meddle, meddle with here is uh, this kind of area down here. And um, so the way we're going to be doing this here is uh, they use uh, the, widget, um, the widget section to sort of modify and play around with these different areas here. So, you know, we've added a couple things in here. We've added in About Us. We've added in a, uh, a little build zoom. Um, button. Let's say we wanted to add these into different columns. It's sort of as simple as this. And I should do the trick. Yeah, as you can see, now it's now we have two columns here. Um, and you know we probably want to add a little header here. New customer testimonials. Check us out on build zoom. Let's try that instead. There we go. So, and if we wanted to uh, center it, we could just add in our, our center HTML tags here. Um, you know, another thing that that might be good here is let's you know let's get there. Uh, let's get a little Google Map in there here. So. See here, Donna, you contracting to find their information up on BuildZoom. It might actually be under Donna Hugh Construction. There's a lot of Donna Hughes. Now, these guys are in New Jersey. Oops, terrible spelling, terrible spelling. All right, let's. All right. I'm just going to go on my other machine here, got it up on the window, and I'm going to just punch in there the contact information here. They are at 106 Claren Street, Red Bank, New Jersey, 07701. There we go. And uh, I'm going to go over here. Let's customize this a bit. That's going to be a little big. That would be a better size. Let's take you. Let's add onto home page right here. Let's paste this guy in. Let's see what we see. Up. Oh. 
a little big with a three column, as you can see here. With a three column approach, it's definitely looking uh, a little big. Um, so let's just take this down to 250. That makes a difference. There you go. That's on now. All right. And I think visually, I'm going to like it a little better if we put the map in the middle. Let's put the map in the middle here. Let's put their build zoom badge on the right. There we go. Okay. Um, so what else do I want to do while I'm here? Um, let's go and take a look at what the subpages look like real quick here. Um, you know, we've got a, a nice image here, but what we're missing is some items in the right column. And that is going to be handled here, single full, I believe. Primary, actually, primary. So let's add a few things over here. Oops. Let's add um, contact us for a free estimate. Let's add a header. Call us at, and their phone number is 908-102-506. So let's add a call to action, and let's also add uh, we're going to be actually adding their, once we switch their domain over, we'll actually be going and adding a, a link to contact them that'll go to their, their contact page as well in case someone wants to email instead of call them. And then, you know, let's go ahead and we can add a, um, check us out on BuildZoom. And got our code here. And then let's add a, just for visual appearances sake, let's add a map here. Let's add, let's add that map that we modified and made a little smaller. My build zoom code isn't showing up right now. Why is that? Try this again. There we go. All right. So it gives it a little bit more uh, visual flair uh, over here. Um, going back to the home page for a moment. A um, couple other things here. Uh, there are construction industry for over two decades, providing central New Jersey with construction service and knowledgeable construction construction services that should be. Um, so, you know, let's, it's good, actually, let me go back to my little map that I added here. We serve the central Jersey region. We, ah, let's do this. We provide construction services through central New Jersey. And, you know, the, uh, the types of services here that they do commercial renovations, home remodeling, room additions. So let's keep that in mind and let's go uh, over here to our SEO plugin. And uh, let's make sure our home page is set up properly. As you can see here, if we look quickly at the home page. Our title is not really 
a Gale, BD Donahue Builders, just another build zoom site. That's a no-no. We don't want a title tag that looks like that. So the way we're going to fix this is we're going to go to our SEO Word uh, plugin, title template, meta description template here. Um, and so what we can actually do here. This is pulling directly from uh, the site name, page, site description. Let's just try a couple things. One, let's make sure the site description here is, is, is set up properly. This really should be uh, because they offer commercial renovations and home remodeling. This really should be Central Jersey Commercial Renovations and Home Remodeling. There we go. So as you can see, what that's going to do, if we refresh over here, go look at our source. There we go. That's the title tag. That's a much better title tag to be pulling from. Now, let's also do one other thing here. Home page is really important. Let's go to titles and metas. Let's go back home. And then let's add a, a description. Um, B D P O N O N G H E Builders provides commercial renovation and home modeling services through central. Let's add a little description. And let's refresh. And sure enough, here we go. I think I might have misspelled the description, but uh, there it is. It's showing up there, probably. Let me just go back here. Yep, I misspelled it. Okay. So at any rate, um, let's go back here for a second and, you know, let's go back to our, I want to go and look at it unauthenticated. And let's just quickly recap what we did here. One, we added a, a nice big fat slider on top um, and the trick there was the size. Uh, two, we uh, arranged the widgets here on the home page um, and gave it a little bit more visual flair by adding a Google map. Um, three, we made sure that we have uh, right column material on uh, this thing. And then uh, four, we uh, made sure we optimized the uh, home title tag and description tag um, a little bit further. So there's a few things uh, just, you know, just that popped into my head. One, probably want to redo this image uh, in the logo. Um, problem with it is it's, it's definitely real dark there and um, want to want to brighten it up quite a bit. So that's going to be one thing we're going to be we're going to be doing here. Um, you know, obviously working content into some of these other pages is going to be extremely important. You know, and then finally the comment section here. I, I really don't want that. These are supposed to be static pages. I don't necessarily want people commenting them on them or spamming them. So let's just go back to theme options for a second. Um, it's a little tricky to find this here. Let's see, general settings. Sometimes WordPress can be a real maze to look through here. Ah, here we go. 
up. All right, so it's, <laughs> sorry, I took a little while. It's uh, under general settings, display options, and uh, we're just going to allow comments on posts. We don't really need them to show up on pages. Um, so if we go here to the about, for instance, um, you'll see that they've been taken out. So that's good. All right, well, thanks for joining, and uh, good luck. It's a beautiful template. Hope you guys can all use it properly. Thanks.